Hello everyone, this is Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So we were looking the error detection and correction methods that are used in data transmission in order to check that whether the data is transmitted correctly or not, right? So in this video, I am going to share another method with you that is ARQ. What is ARQ? ARQ stands for Automatic Repeat Request. So it's an error correction, sorry, it's an error detection and correction method, or we can say it's an error control method that is used for in the data transmission uh, for the same reason in order to detect the error in the data that has been transmitted, right? So what are the what is this process about and what are the steps involved in it? The ARQ basically uses two things. It uses acknowledgement. Acknowledgement is nothing but a message, right? Plus it uses timeout. Okay, now let me tell you what is this. Let's suppose I have a data that is, let's suppose it's a packet that is being transmitted from sender to receiver, right? This is the data that I am transmitting. Now, once the re receiver receives the data, what it is going to do? It is going to check, right? Check for data is occurred on the receiver's end, right? Check data at the receiver side, at the receiver end, right? When the data has been received, the receiving device is going to check for the error, either the data has been transmitted correctly or not. And for this, uh, the methods that can be used for error detection are, uh, either it can use parity check, or it can use checksum, right? Any of the method can be used in order to detect the error, right? So once the data has been checked, uh, then we can have the results as follows. Either we can say that data is received correctly, data is correct. And after checking, we can say that data is incorrect, depending upon the result of checking right depending upon um, how this particular machine has checked the data the data can be correct or can be sorry incorrect this is not correct this is incorrect we can conclude these two results so for example the data that is correct then if the data is correct then this particular machine the receiver machine is going to send the positive acknowledgement right if the data is correct then the receiver is going to send positive acknowledgement so i can say that if no error detected detected then positive acknowledgement will be sent acknowledgement will be used or will be sent by the receiver but if the data if the error is occurred if error is detected then we are going to use negative acknowledgement right we are going to use negative acknowledgement or in other words negative acknowledgement means that you are going to request for retransmission of request you are going to request the sender for retransmission of data right this is what the negative acknowledgement means right so if the error is detected it means that you have incorrect data then you are going to send the negative acknowledgement and the sender needs to send the data again right and the third thing is that let's suppose um let's suppose the timeout has been occurred right um, we have the sender didn't receive the acknowledgement and the time has been passed. Let's suppose I'm saying that the sender must receive acknowledgement in one hour. 
and if one hour has passed and the receiver didn't send the acknowledgement then if no acknowledgement has been sent then the data will be retransmitted automatically right if acknowledgement is not acknowledgement is not received to the receiver sorry to the sender it is going to automatically sender is going to automatically automatically resend or retransmit data right either we can send the acknowledgement the acknowledgement can be positive can be negative or if the timeout occurs and the time for acknowledgement has been passed has been um, just uh, you know completed and we haven't uh, just uh, we haven't sent any kind of acknowledgement or message to the sender regarding the data that has received then the data will be retransmitted automatically by the sender right one more thing is that uh, one more thing, uh, it is basically the recent request. Once the recent, recent request has been sent to the sender, once the sender receives the negative acknowledgement, then the recent request is basically repeated or the negative acknowledgement uh, or according to the negative acknowledgement, this recent request is sorry it's repeated or the data is transmitted again and again right is the recent request is repeated until the machine the receiver until uh, we get the uh, correct data right until correct data is received correctly right or in other words i can say that the sender usually transmits the data uh, until it is it is received it receives positive acknowledgement right uh, this particular sender machine once it receives a negative acknowledgement it is going to resend retransmit the data and it is going to retransmit it again and again until a positive acknowledgement is received or it receives that the data has been transmitted correctly then it is going to stop the retransmission otherwise it is going to retransmit the data again and again but one more thing is that you are going to define the number of transmissions right you are going to define the number of retransmissions that how many times missions are fixed let's suppose we have defined that the sender can only transmit the data retransmit the data 10 times then if this particular limit has reached then if the sender has transmit the data 10 times and is still uh, it didn't got the positive acknowledgement then there will no more retransmissions right so it is it depends upon the limit right it is going to resend the data only 10 times when the limit has been reached then the data will not be retransmitted again no matter whether the data is correctly received or not right so this is all about ARQ that is the automatic repeat request I hope this is clear to you all the points are clear to you and um, this is the last video on this particular topic of data storage as well as the error detection and correction method right so we have uh, completed three topics up till now the binary systems hexadecimals and the third one is the data storage right so thank you so much for watching all my videos i hope all these videos are helpful to you and please if um, 
yeah please share like and subscribe the channel and share my all these videos with other students as well so that we can all uh, teach either uh, teach each other we can all help each other and learn together so thank you so much for watching this video and in the next video we are going to start another topic right so stay tuned stay connected and if you have any queries any questions you can comment below i am going to answer it over there right so i hope um things are going great uh, so take care bye bye and see you in my next video